Kimber, my, my mm -hmm. the reason I'm having a hard time understanding this, uh, your, your celebratory uh, approach to the situation on Trans Mountain with the government of British Columbia is that uh, 10 days ago, the project was suspended mm -hmm. by Kinder Morgan, uh, leading to what many have characterized as a constitutional and pot potential economic crisis in Canada. I uh, don't understand how you could draw from these recent actions of the B.C. government grounds for optimism. Just today, they've announced they're moving forward with that court reference, which you yourself quite rightly has des have described as a delay tactic uh, that creates further uncertainty. So help me understand this. Why would you have suspended something that such a modest, uh, really symbolic measure as the wine boycott while talking tough about turning off the taps? Don't you think this may be sending mixed messages to the Victoria government, which may have resulted in their saying that this is all just a bluff? Like it, it doesn't seem to be, we don't seem to be moving in a straight line here strategically. Uh, no, I don't think that's true at all. I actually think that uh, it's moving faster than we would have thought. Um, as I said before, we made it very clear they needed to pull 0.5. That is what they did. Um, that being said, we also engaged a number of other uh, tactics, and uh, we actually think that they have been working on a number of different fronts. And, uh, um, you know, you, you, you don't use your biggest weapon at the very beginning of a skirmish, Agreed. you have to think strategically. Agreed. As you can imagine, we uh, have been engaged in conversations with a variety of stakeholders that uh, give us probably a better line of sight to what the, uh, the um, ultimate uh, path to success is than is all completely in public right now, and that's just the way these things are going to be sometimes. Uh, but suffice to say, I think that uh, we are in a position now where we are very close to being able to establish the certainty that is necessary and uh, and to, to flush out uh, exactly what the level of uh, resistance is and and uh, what the level of uh, commitment to ensuring that that resistance is overcome is by all parties. And it, generally speaking, I think it's uh, uh, looking better and clearer uh, than it was. You, you were actually, so, Premier, you actually think the situation looks better now following the Kinder Morgan suspension of the project than before the suspension? The, the fact that Kinder Morgan was going to have to make a serious investment decision and there was a lot of under, uncertainty around there was known to everyone who's been seized of this file. So, uh, you know, it's pretty intense right now. That's sure. That's absolutely true. And it was probably clear that at some point it was going to get that way. And uh, now we are, um, uh, you know, we're going to make sure that we get the project done. Hmm. And uh, I, uh, there are different times when you have to use different uh, strategies. And we think that at the end of the day, everyone understands Alberta's resolve. And uh, we have got more and more people working with us from a broad range of uh, stakeholders um, across the country. And uh, we think that it will happen. Well, I certainly hope you're right, uh, uh, Premier. But uh, I, I must admit that I think most of us looking at this feel... Uh, uh, that uh, we move backward uh, with the suspension of the project by the proponent. Uh, Premier, 45 minutes ago, you said to me that uh, you were more optimistic now about the completion of the Trans Mountain Pipeline than you've ever been. While you said that, Stephen Keane, the President and CEO of, Tran of Kinder Morgan Canada, was on a conference call with his investors. Uh, he said the following, quotes, As we said then... Uh, 10 days ago, it's become clear this particular investment may be untenable for a private party to undertake. The events of the last 10 days have confirmed those views. Uh, mm -hmm. Premier, how could your view be so different than that of the president of the company trying to build the pipeline? Why would you tell us that you're more optimistic now than you were 10 days ago when the president of Kinder Morgan Canada said 45 minutes ago to investors that the events of the last 10 days, that would include your meetings in uh, Ottawa and uh, the introduction of your legislation, he said that the events of the last 10 days have confirmed those views. Isn't this part of a pattern where you told us on March 6th, 26th that following a federal court decision it was a pretty definitive victory for the pipeline? And you said on February 22nd that there was a, 
Uh, BC's decision is an important step forward, one small victory. Pr mm -hmm. Premier, with victories like this, I'd, I'd hate to see what defeat looks like. Well, I think you know what defeat looks like, with the greatest of respect. Um, however, that being said, uh, what I'm saying is this. The pipeline to Tidewater needs to be built. There needs to be a pipeline that our shippers and our industry can put their product in and get to Canadian Tidewater in order to reduce the differential uh, that comes from not having a pipeline in general, as well as it comes from being uh, attached to one market. The mechanism for getting that pipeline built, the positioning right now of, of, a, of a private company, which is clearly in conversations with uh, us and the federal government, to uh, reduce and eliminate investor risk, um, that is something that needs to be discussed. Well, Premier, but no, just let me, let me be very clear here. Uh, with the, we uh, absolutely respect and want to support uh, Kinder Morgan going forward. We have committed as a government that we will engage in financial discussions to reduce so, investor risk. Premier, I have to tell you, Mr. Keene yeah. was asked about that. He was mm -hmm. asked about your prospective investment. He said, they're really two separate things. Most of the investment is in British Columbia, where the government is opposition in opposition to the project. That is an issue that, in our view, needs to be resolved. And he continues to say that following the events of the last 10 days, including your discussions sorry, sorry, honorable uh, member. Uh, about just, money, that sorry uh, to uh, cut you off, the project honorable is, member. Unten is untenable. Therefore, I'd like to ask the Premier. Uh, why she is so much more optimistic than the actual company trying to build the pipeline, which an hour ago said that the project may be untenable, notwithstanding discussions about government investments. Uh, I, uh, the reason I am in that position is because um, I believe that uh, the government, which has made the decision to get the pipeline built, uh, which is the federal government, is fully engaged in this. Now, I'm not going to negotiate in public with Kinder Morgan. The greatest of respect for the leadership of Kinder Morgan. We've worked very closely with them for some time, and we are in deep discussions with them now. I would suggest right now that there may, over the course of the conversations uh, that are going on about the fiscal relationships between now and the, uh, the ultimate uh, completion of those discussions, that there may be some public positioning that goes on. I am not going to engage in negotiations around that public positioning or respond to that public positioning because uh, my uh, objective and the objective of the Government of Alberta is to come to a solution that will ensure that there is a pipeline constructed between Alberta and the Port of Vancouver that ships our product. Well, and so. Uh, and I believe that the people that need to be at the table to make that thing happen are now at the table. Mr. Chair, but I will not engage in public negotiations around what is happening Mr. Chair, at that table. Premier just said she now. won't in, she won't respond to Kinder Morgan's public positions. She held an unscheduled news conference ten days ago to respond to the announcement of their suspension. She had an emergency meeting in Ottawa. Uh, mm -hmm. last Sunday to respond to Kinder Morgan's suspension. I am now raising comments made concurrent with her statement in this before this committee that we're closer than ever to the construction of the pipeline from the president of, K of Kinder Morgan Canada saying that the project may be untenable. The events of the last 10 days have confirmed those views and that prospective federal or provincial investment are really not relevant because certainty needs to be resolved in British Columbia. Does mm -hmm. she disagree with the president of the company that has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in this project? Uh, what I'm saying is that I believe that we have the right people at the table to determine uh, the certainty that is necessary. And that will be a product of discussions and negotiations. There was not a table that was focused on determining uh, that uh, at the t previous times that you outlined, but there is now. And uh, I am going to refrain from uh, um, uh, the uh, almost celebratory type of uh, engagement that, uh, that you are uh, trying to predict the demise of the project because I believe that we are in a very sensitive time and I think that uh, we are going to let the conversations which are at the table uh, continue at the table for the time being.
M Mr. Chair, uh, I can tell you the only uh, people that are celebrating are the OPEC dictatorships that want to see this pipeline not built. If the Premier had accepted our advice nine months ago oh, to be begin, de begin developing a fight-back strategy, Hesitate. we might fi not find ourselves in this position Hesitate today. to interrupt.